time to smize in a gigantic salad. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 weirdest America's Next Top Model photo shoots. For this list, we'll be looking at the most bizarre themes and circumstances for ANTM's photo sessions. So put on your fashionable best and let's get to it. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. Designing and Modeling Hot Dogs In Cycle 17, the competing models had to create and then model their own hot dogs. Love. Yes, really good, Laura. You're gonna smell like chili all day. The entire concept was strange and the results were as well. Creating a hot dog doesn't have much to do with high fashion modeling, and posing in haute couture with said hot dogs is even more off-putting. Okay, just swung right into that, I love it. The girls gave it their all, as always, making the best of a bizarre situation. I don't find it particularly inspiring. I think it's funny, I think it's interesting, I think it's a bit dirty. Standing here, you're fabulous. Here, I don't want to know you, I don't want to see you, I would be running to the car. However, we could have done without the seafood, which made an unfortunate appearance in one or two shots. This is daring, this is crazy, this is out there, this is gonna make me go, oh my god, I remember her from Top Model. Number nine, posing with bees. It is a creepy feeling to have those little bees tickling you. Like, I wanted to take my shirt off too, because like, seriously, they were crawling in there and like hanging out inside my shirt. You know those videos of men with large, terrifying bee beards? The poor models on ANTM had to do something eerily similar. The more bees, the better. This is great. Oh my god. Cycle 16 graced us with the bee photo shoot, in which models had to pose and look beautiful while donning a face or body full of bees. The models wore jewelry dipped in bee-attracting pheromones and had cotton up their noses and in their ears, and were expected to sell the accessories. Striking, it's like a bit of like an ice queen, but with the bees, you have a unique perspective on it, and I think that's important. One of the models, Jacqueline, claimed she was allergic to bees, but went on to say she was more concerned with taking a good picture. Now that's dedication. You have a beautiful profile. I think that the hands, the things are a little closer together, perhaps, it would look a little prettier. Number 8. Floating in a Wind Tunnel What's the best way to advertise cosmetic foundation? If you said wind tunnel, you would be correct according to America's Next Top Model. I stepped into this chamber light thing. The wind is blowing upward and you're just, your whole face is like flapping. In Cycle 7, the girls were driven to a skydiving training facility, in which they had to pose while in a wind tunnel while reaching out for some CoverGirl cosmetics. The poor models flailed around trying to find some way to pose appropriately while being thrown about by wild wind forces. I'm doing kind of not so good at first. I was having a hard time getting used to it. It, it really is a lot of work. Amanda, she was like flailing around like a rag doll. I felt bad. Going through all this effort didn't even seem worth it as the resulting photos were cheaply photoshopped onto an outer space background with the foundation floating just out of reach of the struggling models. That's actually the best angle on the face we've seen. What were they thinking? Number seven, dresses made of hair. Because you're wearing this, so. Oh my God, that's a lot of hair. Wow, in a stink. There are many materials one can use to make a dress. Fine silks, soft cotton blends, human hair. <laughs> what are you even doing? <laughs> Yep, you heard that right, human hair. Well, at least we think it's from a human. In a Cycle 14 photo shoot, the models had to pose in elaborate dresses made from the flowing locks of some stranger's hair. The resulting photos are nice, and the models definitely gave it all they had, but the creepy meter is high on this one. Whose hair are they wearing? Why wasn't this hair used to make wigs? Is it shampooed? This shoot raises more than an eyebrow. It raises an entire head of voluminous hair. I, I love the contrast between the dark hair and the whiteness, paleness of your skin. It's very interesting. Number six, Kris Jenner's Toddlers. In Cycle 18, the girls had a surprise guest in Kris Jenner. Kris, come on out here. <laughs> Hi, lady. The latter was in their photo shoot as their mother, while the models posed as her toddlers. So what you're doing right now, 
It can go almost too sexy, so you gotta remember you're a toddler. The shoot was described as surreal and avant-garde by Jay Manuel upon the girl's arrival. Surreal might describe the entire thing, but avant-garde? Even the models looked confused. Sophie, clutch onto your mama. Don't pose with her. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. It's really nice with you kind of leaning on like that. Though they were meant to be toddlers, the models came off as, well, models. They were dressed in flimsy night dresses, wearing jewelry, and were coiffed. Whoa! <laughs> Y'all are working it! This is my favorite shot so far. It was all quite bizarre and maybe just a tad inappropriate. They were so good, they ate the baby food. Number five, posing with a tarantula. Got arachnophobia? You might want to close your eyes for this one. In a Cycle 3 photo shoot, the girls had to pose with diamonds and tarantulas. So to make sure this doesn't look like a typical jewelry ad, we do have someone else for you to pose with today in your shot. So can we have our other person? However, the girls aren't initially told they'll be posing with the eight-legged creatures. Instead, Jay Manuel tells one model that she should be practicing her face and to trust him. Relax, you keep your eyes at me. I know it's hard right now. That's perfect, flawless. Don't move. Once the hairy spiders are revealed, the models understandably shocked and scared, especially after being reassured that emergency medical services are on hand. Gorgeous. Nice work. That's what we're looking for. Despite her tears, model Eva Marcel gets through it and ends up with one of the best photos. So when the theme's brought back in Cycle 24, so is Cycle 3 champ Eva, who poses with a new set of fearful but motivated contestants. Own this picture because right now you're losing. Number four, posing in meat. There are, as you can see, many strange ANTM photo shoots. All right, Claire, show off that meat. Make it dramatic. But this one takes the stake. The models were taken to a warehouse and posed in a refrigerated meat locker while wearing meat. That's right, dead animals and accessories. One of the models was given the unfortunate direction of sitting on a barrel of what appeared to be fat scraps. Sit on those barrels there. What? She can't yeah. sit on that. No, she can't. Is it grocery wrap? There you go. Yeah, fake it like that. That's good. Contestant Whitney lamented her having to wear beef panties. So I have to wear beef panties and they wrapped it around my neck. It's all just kind of gruesome and presumably stinky, not to mention wasteful. Thankfully, none of the girls mentioned being vegetarian. Number three, fake romance novel covers with Fabio. Remember those 1980s romance novels your older aunt used to read? Neither do we. Lean back, just let it go. Gorgeous. ANTM brought in veteran romance male model Fabio to pose with the girls in Cycle 7. The result was a collection of cheesy book covers, all authored by Tyra Banks. Have fun with it. What made this one strange was the timing. Fabio hasn't been relevant in quite some time, and we can only assume that ANTM's fan base wasn't too savvy on who he is. Lady of the night. I think it's great. I do too. I think this is the best mm. shot of the bunch. Once again, the girls made the best of it, despite the extra helping of cheese. Number two, posing in a giant Greek salad. We like a Greek salad as much as the next guy, but we've never wanted to do a bikini photo shoot in one. Yeah, work your angles. Beautiful, my god, this is gorgeous. In cycle 17, the models were treated to a trip to Greece. What better way to celebrate than by posing in a giant bowl of cucumbers, tomatoes, olives, and feta? Oh, and let us not forget the bottle of olive oil poured directly on the model herself. Oh, I love that what you're doing to your legs right now, that's great. Say that, say that, yeah, yes. Not fake sexy, real sexy. This kind of feels unsanitary, and there must be something more representative of an entire country than a salad. Unfortunately, this was the only thing producers seemed to be able to come up with to introduce the girls to Greece. Opa! It's an interesting shot. It's not really glamorous for me. It's not really fashion for me either. You surprise me. You're such a sweetheart, and then this face of yours in this picture is so erotic. Before we unveil our cringiest number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, you be careful. Yeah, there you go. Uh-huh. Chin up a bit. Think of a high-fashion model. Janosh is totally unaware of her body, and she doesn't seem to care about anything. Oh, that's pretty. You have no idea what you look like. I mean, how often do you practice laying in puddles on the ground? Don't be afraid to really move your body around. Really good, Whitney. 
funny because she seems to have a fun personality. Meg, again, huge disappointment. When you talk to Meg, her whole face lights up, but I'm not sure that she can be a successful model. You're running for your life. It's on the back of you. Beautiful. These are good, Jayla. Keep it going. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Posing as biracial beauties For today's photo shoot, you girls are going to undergo a transformation and actually have to portray two very different distinct races. Perhaps ANTM's most inappropriate photo shoot, Cycle 13's biracial beauties theme was an interesting idea, in theory. What made it problematic was the fact that the girls were essentially in blackface. Even more problematic was the fact that the photos were taken in a sugarcane field. Think about Yo, Egypt, Yo, the people, what they've been through. The shoot was intended to represent women of mixed races. However, the entire thing seemed vastly ill-conceived. Hold it, nice, beautiful. Chin up. I don't even know who this girl is. Who is this girl I'm shooting? I don't even recognize her. The shoot caused understandable controversy amongst viewers as the models were darkened in skin tone and wore stereotypical garments from the nationalities they represented. Again, what were they thinking? Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here. Show. Sure.